Welcome to St John's. We're very pleased to be able to tell you that we will be opening for our first service since lockdown and we're opening on Sunday 12th of July at 9.30. Things will be a bit different and we'd like to explain these differences so you know what to expect. If you arrive by car, then please fill the overflow car park first. You'll be ushered up this right-hand side of the drive. After the overflow car park, we'll fill this right-hand drive. And then finally, we'll fill the left-hand side of the drive. Um, the reason for doing this is that people will probably have to queue to get into the church. So we want to keep people and cars and traffic separate up by the church there. Now, of course, if you're not able to walk much of a distance, then you're welcome to go and park up by the church as you, as you normally would. But if you possibly can, please park in the car parks or on the drive as directed. And please don't arrive at the church before 10 past nine because we have a lot to do in the church to get the building ready before the service can begin. So then please wait outside the church, observing a two metre gap between people and you'll be met by a steward at the door who needs to take your name and your phone number. Uh, we've been asked to do this by the government and the Church of England as it's part of the NHS track and trace process. We'll keep these details for 21 days and then they will be destroyed securely. If, however, we're notified that someone who has attended a service has proved positive for COVID-19, then we are obliged to pass the list to NHS Track and Trace, who will then contact everybody who was at the service on the list, and as a result, you may be required to self-isolate for 14 days. When you go into the porch, please use the hand sanitizer. There is now a wall-mounted dispenser and it's automatic, so there's no need to touch it. There's no need to wear a face mask, but if you would be more comfortable doing that, please bring your own if you can. There should only be two people or a single larger household in the porch at any one time, which is why you may have to wait outside for a short time. Please wait in the porch until a steward is ready to show you to your seat. It would be appreciated if you would take the seat which is offered to you, unless there is a very real reason why you cannot sit there. We have to leave two metres between individuals or families which means we have to allocate seating carefully if we are to fit in everyone who may wish to attend. Children will need to remain with their parents during the service and there is no Sunday school or crash. Parts of the service will be filmed for an online video. So it may be that a view from the back of the church is occasionally included. So if you prefer not to be included at all in the video, then please let the steward know and you can be seated off to one side. The service will be simple, it will be reflective, it will include readings, a sermon and prayers, but no communion. There may be some music, but no congregational singing, because singing, I'm afraid, is discouraged in the current guidance. There won't be any orders of service, nor hymn books, nor pew sheets. During the service, please remain in your seating area and don't move around the church as we need to maintain the two metre distancing at all times. There'll be a card reader at the back of the church should you wish to make a donation. Uh, there won't be any cash collection. At the end of the service, you may stay on for a short while for private prayer should you wish. Otherwise, the stewards will invite people to leave, row by row, and you are asked to make your way immediately outside so that we can maintain appropriate social distancing. Please leave through the door at the back of church and then the west door. You are, of course, free to chat to your friends in the grounds after the service. 
Unfortunately, we cannot offer refreshments at this time. We're expecting a relatively small congregation in the first few weeks, but there is a limit to the number of attendees that we can seat safely. We can only fit in about 30 individuals or small household groups at any one time. And please, of course, don't come if you're feeling at all unwell. Well, we appreciate that this will feel very different for everybody, but it's what we need to do to keep us all safe. And we hope you will be able to join us, either this coming Sunday or in future Sundays, and we look forward to seeing you.